Good morning everyone. Today is uh, Friday, October 4, exactly 6.44 a.m. And I know you may have noticed, medyo bago, bagong ahit. <laughs> no, I just uh, colored, colored my hair or dyed my hair blonde. Because, actually Tuesday, I just want to give you an update. I wasn't feeling really good. Tuesday pa lang. And Wednesday morning, as you all know, I did run. And if you may have noticed on the previous video, my lips kind of pale. And I did drag myself no, on Wednesday. And thinking that I'll feel better after my workout coming home from the gym. I slept, woke up uh, with a fever, 38.1. So did consult immediately a physician who recommended me some medications. And w with that said, I had to stop my calorie deficit, intermittent fasting, and one meal a day because I need to eat for me to be able to take those meds. So I did feel better naman the next day Thursday however lost my voice my voice were hoarse nung Thursday afternoon and the feeling still heavy although I don't have any fever that day but I have decided to continue the rest as recommended by my physician so today's Friday scheduled to run supposedly with my friend Pudong but since like I said I'm recovering I can't really force my body into doing things that uh, may uh, do more harm so actually this is a good good day to discuss about like what i have told you sa, sa last video ko to discuss how i gained my weight in essence it, it has something to do with in parallel of what i'm having right now uh, i got sick like literally sick 2020 i think august yeah around august i august 2020 i have acquired uh, covid 19 you know? so, so i was part of the first wave uh, of folks who had covid 19 and we don't have any vaccines yet during that time uh, the type of covid that i had uh, was severe because i i can't stop coughing you know it's i had difficulty breathing to the point that healthcare workers had advised me to be confined in the hospital so i got confined for two weeks and as you know during that time the morale is really low i was i was thinking about the mortality rate of covid so during my two weeks confinement i have decided to binge eat like literally all the things that i crave for uh i have them delivered to my room i was like eating two boxes of pizza on one day and then eating tons of chickens pasta ramens like every other ev every day literally i i ordered online because you know dur during that time uh, I, I really thought of the worst that could happen so i have decided to you know just just eat all the food that i wanted to eat just in case that uh, things go south it's it's really one of the lowest points in in my life when i was confined there it's, it's not only a physical battle but more on uh, mental battles it's, i was isolated for two weeks uh, my body's deteriorating but fortunately i'm here to tell the tale <laughs> of what happened back in 2020 so, uh, after i got discharged i have decided to take control back of my health just a few days after i got discharged i have decided to run but it was never the same i mean my lungs I think it has deteriorated uh, ever since I got COVID. Uh, as you know, before 2020, 2019, even early 2020, I was running. I, I do sub 30 pace, even on hypoxia mask, no, the, the, this this kind of mask. But even without my mask on, I have decided to run for just a quick 5k. I was uh, wasn't even trying to do sub 30, but two or three kilometers into my run, I was gassed out. Al I almost passed out on the sidewalk. No, it was that bad. And I, I did research. It's uh, one of the uh, post-COVID uh, COVID effect that can really have like long-term effects on on someone's lungs. I think that's that's added factor to why I have gained weight. Uh, since then, I wasn't able to do any physical exercises because yun nga, my, my lung capacity isn't really that good. Also, I have acquired the bad habit of overeating since I got confined for two weeks. Around 2023, June, I was at like 73 kgs and then this 2024, I peaked at 85 kgs maybe around June, July, or August, so around that time. So although I have some may say that I did gain weight fast, but it wasn't as fast as how I lost my weight the first time around no, no, 2018. But it took me four years to reach or to acquire 20 kgs. But regardless, no, uh, I'm putting that in the past and trying to lose weight. Nga, yun yung goal ko ngayon. 
Uh, ayun, um, since I'm at 85 kgs, I think that's uh, my he- uh, heaviest. Went back to, like what I've said in the previous videos, went back to intermittent fasting, OMAD, and calorie deficit. Ayun, and it, it's just ironic no, that, like I said, the previous week, Friday, that I will try to be consistent in working out. But, uh, you know, I have to take these days off. It's, it's, it's necessary. I, if I push myself, I might get hurt. It may prolong my sickness and unable to do my routine the coming days. Today, I did not run. I uh, will just hit the treadmill just to do walk, no? just to sweat things out and do light, lightweight training. Yun, yun yung plano. Just imagine. Na parang, uh, I always I just remember the horror horrors of COVID to 2020 but I'm uh, putting that in the past no leaving that behind I have moved forward and I think I'm on on the right track no I, I just felt guilty lang no past few days is a Tuesday Wednesday Thursday uh, was eating tons of foods over calories I think I'm at 67 again uh, but, but like I said it's part of it it's part of the journey I think I can bounce back uh, I will bounce back uh, that's a promise so again that's it for the day. I'm just gonna hit the gym real quick, do quick treadmills, do light weight training, and it's Friday. I'm gonna start working as well. I've been absent since Tuesday, didn't it? Thanks for for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys most likely on Sunday. I should be back. So, hey, yeah, the car free Sundays. I hope to see you there. Bye.